Hello guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the pen tool. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy tutorial. So if you new to Photoshop, it should be pretty pretty good for you as well. It, it's pretty useful, and yeah, I use it in most of my designs, whether it's a Twitter header, advertisement, or anything. I use it in pretty much everything I use. This is for Photoshop. Using the pen tool is pretty. It's pretty similar in Illustrator, but it, 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 there are some differences that you need to know. So yeah, if you're looking for Illustrator tutorials, then this isn't for you. Okay, first off, we're gonna find the pen, the pen tool here, uh, or you can just press P on your keyboard. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can just press P, and yeah, here we go. We have um, this pen tool where we can just basically draw lines and do everything that's on the screen right here. Um, okay, first off, if you just want to draw a straight line, which would either left, right, down, up, it's like a perfect straight line. Just click one in one place, hold Shift, and click in another. If you don't hold shift, you can go into any other angle that you could want, and it'll be pretty hard to get a perfectly straight line just by doing it by eye. So yeah, okay, that's the first step. So use shift um, when you want to make a straight line. Okay, now if you want to make a curve, all you just need to do is make a first point there, click and then hold. So now you can see that I'm clicking and holding and I'm moving my mouse in order to make a different angle or to make a curve. Okay. So now you know how to make a curve, you know how to make a straight line. I'm going to show you how to make a shape. Okay, so this is going to be a shape like this tooth here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and we're going to make a straight line by holding shift, and then just click and drag and make this curve. If you want the curve to carry on, it will make. Um, you just click again, and the curve will carry on. But we don't want this for the tooth. So what you want to do is you want to click Alt on on the last anchor point, which is this each black dot. And then it gets rid of half this of the handle, which means that you can now go back to doing any angle, whereas before it would carry on the curve and then put it where you wanted it to be. So now we want to delete the half of the handle by pressing Alt and then clicking on it. And now we can just finish off the path by just click, uh, clicking on the beginning point and then dragging into the position we want. Okay, so now now you know how to make a shape. You want to make it now. You want to make it a color like these fill examples here. So now you want to do is press, um, you, want to do, you want to right click and go to fill path, oh, make sure you always make a new layer otherwise it can't work and go to fill path and then you can have foreground color which is either this is the foreground color and the white is the background color or you can select your own color by doing this but I'm just gonna um, use the foreground color because I just want it to be black. Uh, you can have a mode so if it's each of these modes all these each of these blending modes are the same as you would see down here um, and yeah that's for a different tutorial for going through those the opacity is how um, how transparent you want it to be uh, so if you want it 100% then it's not transparent at all if it's 0% then you can't see it at all okay and uh, rendering for the radius you don't you don't really want to mess with those so you just want to press ok so now you see uh, we've got this shape here and you should press enter to get rid of the, um, the paths now we've got this path here uh, yeah, so you can do that with any shape. You don't have to do a tooth, obviously. You can just do a triangle. Um, obviously, you've got to make a new shape. And there you go, you got your new shape. Okay, now we're going to go to strokes. Oh, I did not mean to move that. Okay, now we're going to make a new layer real quick. And you might see I've done each and everything in each of these things here in my, in my speed arts before. And I've been asked to do this tutorial, that's why I'm doing it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a stroke by a brush. So if you were going to have the brush this size, which is currently 400 pixels, we we could just do a straight line and the stroke path, and we're going to just leave stimulate brush off at the moment, and then tool and make sure it's in brush. You can use the others, but I don't. I'm not really too sure what they do. I haven't actually. I don't normally use them, so yeah, I just keep it on brush. And so yeah, so now this brush is 400 pixels, and so if we wanted to control the width and um, yeah, it would be the the width of the brush and how thick the stroke is. We can just go to the brush again and then make it smaller. So it's just do about six pixels. That'll nice and make a nice effect. So go stroke. Make sure it's on brush again. It should always be on brush. If we do it once, it should stay on brush. And then press OK. And press Enter again to re remove the path. And there we go. We have this nice brush here. And yeah, you might have seen that on my recent advertisement that I made the speed art 
them. It's actually the video before this one, so check it out. You know, I did a nice effect around the shoe. They did like a spiral around the shoe. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do this stroke here, but it gets it's thin, gets thicker, and then gets thin again. Okay, so now obviously you want to make sure that the brush size is smaller because if it feels thick, then you would it would just be too thick and it wouldn't look very nice. So now I'm just going to do a straight line. Um, right click, go to stroke path. It's the same as before, just make sure stimulate pressure is ticked. And press OK, and there we go. That's how you make your your um, your change the thickness of your stroke. You can do this in any colour, obviously I'm just doing it in black because that's my foreground colour. But you can change your foreground colour to any colour you like and that will all be fine. Okay, now we're going to show you how to make a selection. So in this I will show you how to basically how to only edit parts you want to edit. It's like with this header here, this, actually, this white bit wasn't actually a part of the original edit. But it's just for an example I showed you guys that you can just make it so it, the white is only on one side of the banner. So basically what you want to do is, we're, gonna, we're just going to delete it and we'll do it again. So you want to go to the corner, make sure the color is on white, and then click and drag for a nice curve to go across the design, and then go outwards, just follow the path out of the project, and back to its original point. Go to File, Fill Path, Foreground Color, now it's all white. And now we can just delete, or oh, not delete, we can just lower the opacity here, just to make that nice clean effect that, that it puts on the header. Yeah, so now we've got that make selection, and now we're going to show you how to split text. So basically, all you, what, what it really is, is just separating the layer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we just want to type just normal text tool. We're just going to make sure it's black so you can actually read it. Okay, now we're going to make it bigger. Now you guys can see this. Now we've got reg a regular text here, and then we're going to make it so you can split it up. You might have seen me do this in a few of my headers before as well. So what you want to do is you want to rasterize it. So you want to right click on the layer and then go to rasterize type. This is now an image. So as you can see, this text is no longer editable and it is just as much as an image as it would be like a stock from your graphics pack. So now we've got this text here. And then we go to the pen tool again. You want to highlight, well not highlight, but go through the area, the area that you want to move. And then you want to right click once you've selected your area and go to make selection. Now you can see I've got all this feather radius, you really don't want to mess with anything there. And now you've got this dashing line that goes round. That shows our selection. And now we can just basically click and drag and we can move it to anywhere we want. So we can split the whole text in half and give it a nice effect. You can also use the arrow keys for that price precise aiming. Okay, now we've got this text there. Obviously you can't really read that so I probably wouldn't have edited it that much. But yeah, that's that's a nice um, effect that you can have on text. Okay, now we're going to do this effect. You might not know what it looks like from here, but I will show you as an example here. Okay, so we're just going to make our selection. So we're just going to do one one from the top and then to the bottom. So it kind of cuts it, just slices it right through, and then you want to go all the way around and make sure on a new layer, obviously, and then um right click make selection and now you've got this selection tool again so now if you want to edit anything outside the selection nothing will happen because we've only selected this part so that we can edit inside the selection but we can't edit anything outside the selection okay this gives us a nice effect because now we just got a white brush and we just made the brush a bit taller oh a bit bigger not taller and we can just go down the side and now we, just to get rid of it of the selection all we need to do is select deselect Okay, now we've got this nice cut off fade kind of and then we can just lower the opacity and that has a nice effect also kind of like the one um, kind of like the, uh, the one I showed you before but this one just gives a nicer effect okay that's most that's pretty much everything you need to know for pen tool um, you can use what I've taught you and use them in different ways you can experiment with the pen tool obviously that's the best way to learn in Photoshop is just experimenting um, so yeah, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, leave a like. Check out my other um, my other speed arts tutorials, all that kind of stuff. If you do enjoy them, leave um, subscribe and get and it'll show up in your feed whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll.